Welcome back Shred Gang. Since almost all of you requested it on Patreon this month, we work on some amazing sounding Shred Licks together today. And great news, they all sound and look quite advanced, but they are actually not that hard. Here's how this works, who knows, maybe this will become Guitar YouTube's favorite show. So first I will play a fast and slow version of each lick for you, followed by a quick tutorial and explanation concerning the techniques you will use. And there's also a twist with every single one. A small but very important detail that makes each lick sound much harder than it actually is. It's really almost like revealing a magic trick in some cases. After watching today's video until the end so that you get to know each lick, you should head over to patreon.com slash because there you will find video play alongs, tabs, guitar profiles and backing tracks for each lick and also five additional killer exclusive licks with the complete shred lick package. That way you will never run out of awesome shred ideas again. Let's do this. This is a pretty cool and unique sounding lick and here is why you should learn it. So first of all the main focus with this lick is on the note repetitions in there. So right at the beginning I'm playing A on the 17th fret on the high E string, E on the 12th fret on the high E string and E once again right here on the 17th fret on the B string. This is because I'm stretching pretty far for the entire lick and I end up with a lot of note repetitions and that sounds pretty crazy. I'm actually playing the E minor pentatonic scale, but instead of the classic two note per string approach that you're probably familiar with, I'm extending it for a three note per string approach. So this is the popular stretch pentatonic shape. So the exact same notes, but I'm playing three notes per string instead of two notes per string. And here's the little extra trick and secret for you. I'm not playing the note in the middle and that's why I'm ending up with this crazy shape right here. And one more trick for better and more creative licks, I'm also working with odd note grouping right here. So I'm playing groups of five instead of your usual groups of two or four. So I'm playing one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. And that's obviously more interesting than just playing it up or down. And why is this actually easier than it looks? First of all, the shape is really, really easy to memorize. It's almost the same for every single string with the exception of the G string where I need my ring finger. But for all the other strings it's exactly the same. And the second reason why it's easier than it looks and sounds is because I can work with economy picking right here. Maybe you've seen it already. Instead of alternate picking everything I'm playing down, up, down, up, down, down. So there's a small sweeping motion in there and this pattern is simply repeated throughout the entire lick. And here's why you should learn this one. So first of all, this is the really cool and kind of dissonant sound of the whole tone scale. Sounds pretty crazy. And this one is really good for your hammer-ons and pull-offs. As you could see, I'm not really playing a lot of picking strokes with this leg. So you get this really cool fluid and kind of liquid sound with that one. If hammer-ons and pull-offs at high speeds are still problematic for you, I made a full legato online course for Patreon recently. Make sure to check that one out. But the coolest thing right here is the sound of the whole tone scale, which you probably don't use too much. And it's actually quite simple. Here's how the A whole tone scale looks like when I just play it on one string. So as the name suggests, really just whole tones. So once again the scale is really easy to memorize and once you start thinking like this across all strings you get this really easy to memorize fingering. So once again a really easy but extremely cool sounding scale shape you should definitely memorize. But I know what you're probably thinking, this lick looks pretty hard, what's actually easy about it? Well, first of all, you're really just moving the exact same fingering. So index finger, middle finger and 
pinky finger in my case to different locations on different strings so it's the exact same pattern all the time and since you're not picking every single note you don't have to worry about hand synchronization or mastering those string transitions with fast alternate picking you can really just focus on your timing with your fretting hand and making all of those notes audible with your hammer-ons and pull-offs you can just train the basic pattern on one string <laughs> And then as soon as you get a feeling for it, you just spread it all across the fretboard with the exact same fingering and get this awesome sounding but actually quite simple lick. Just a quick mission update before we continue with the shredding. As you know, we're trying to get guitar to the top of the YouTube charts in Austria. Right now we're number 90 and we have to overtake a sports channel named Elias Schwerzler. I'm sure that's a great channel, but we want to push guitar to the top, of course. So let's do this together. Make sure to shred over that subscribe button right now. Let's show the world that the guitar is still relevant. Pretty cool sound, but why? First of all, this one is based on E diminished arpeggios. So this kind of cool sound. But instead of playing just one arpeggio shape up and down, like we all do way too much, you're interestingly switching between different shapes with slides. And I know it looks crazy at first, but once again, it's much, much easier than it looks and sounds. The first reason for that is the symmetry of those diminished arpeggios. For this lick you really just have to memorize one easy shape. You can just move this one up or down in minor thirds, so just three frets down or three frets up to get the next diminished arpeggio. So when I'm moving down with this lick, I'm just taking this shape, then I'm moving it here, and then right here and then I'm just connecting those shapes interestingly with slides but I'm really just seeing this one shape that I'm moving in minor thirds across the neck and here's a really cool sweep picking trick for the first lick that is a really cool pattern and to escape the dead zone between the strings that we don't want to touch to avoid unwanted noise I'm just working with upstrokes right here That makes it really easy for me to play this pattern. So I'm just playing upstrokes right here. Okay, so this one is a bit harder already. It's for all the alternate picking lovers out there. So this is the perfect lick if you want to work more in this technique. You're essentially moving through three A minor scale positions and it's a continuous pattern of downstroke, upstroke, downstroke, upstroke and so on. The first thing that's a bit tricky is that you're skipping the A string. So you're just playing on the E and D string, so not the usual A minor scale position. You're skipping the A string right here. Then you continue with 16th note triplets and have this kind of cycling pattern. And then you switch to 16th notes for this pattern. So the cool thing is that you're switching between 16th note triplets and 16th notes. That makes this one really, really interesting. Then you're just moving it up to the next position, the exact same pattern. So why is this one actually much easier than it looks? 
The coolest thing about this lick is the chunking method. So you have different chunks, meaning patterns that are repeated constantly in different scale positions. So once you master those three parts and patterns in one position, you can just move them all across the neck through the entire scale. So it doesn't feel like learning one extremely long lick. You're just learning chunk by chunk or part by part. And then you simply start moving those parts through the scale of your choice. And another reason why this is so awesome is that you can apply those chunks and patterns to any kind of scale from now on as soon as you have them in your muscle memory. Harmonic minor, for example. This one is pretty cool. Maybe you recognize the sound. It's actually inspired by one of my songs, Monolith. That one is from my instrumental shred record, Elevation. So make sure to check it out if you're into all this kind of crazy stuff. The reason why I recommend to learn this is because you're fusing arpeggios with the modes right here. So I'm essentially thinking an A major arpeggio. But instead of just playing A, the root, C sharp, the major third, and E, the perfect fifth. I'm also adding the characteristic Lydian interval in there. So the sharp four, D sharp in our case. So I get this really, really cool sound. So when you start combining arpeggios with really interesting scale notes and other intervals, you will get much, much more interesting results. And this is a great starting point to explore this way of thinking. So the reason why it looks and sounds pretty hard, but it's actually not that hard to play, So I know this one is based on sweep picking, a very challenging technique, but it's actually not as hard as it looks and sounds, mainly because the shape is really small and you're really just working with three strings, so the top three strings. Usually when you think about sweep picking, you have these big shapes in mind, also with finger rolling and barring. So it's really not that bad with our example. You really just need to spend a bit of practice time to learn the picking pattern, the sweep picking pattern for those top three strings right here. It comes relatively fast. And then as always, you can apply it to any kind of shape from now on and you will immediately sound like a sweep picking professional with this small trick. So at the end, please let me know which lick you personally enjoyed the most. Just leave a comment, I'd love to know. If you're serious about learning these techniques and licks, make sure to head over to Patreon right now to get your video player alongs, tabs, get the profiles and backing tracks and five additional really awesome licks that I made for you. Of course, you also have access to five online courses over there and over 180 individual lessons and also my personal feedback. Make sure to subscribe so that you don't miss the next video and leave a like in case you enjoyed this one. I will see you very soon. Have a lot of fun shredding. Bye-bye.